Hello, welcome back. This is question 5 of the Cambridge IGC SE Mathematics paper 4 1 written in May June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing in this playlist, kindly go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist titled IGC SE Mathematics paper 4 1 May June 2024. There are four videos there. Question 5a. Uh, P is the point 1 comma 7. Q is the point 5 comma negative 5 okay so find uh, the vector pq okay you can write them like this okay let's change this to okay let's say uh, p as a column vector will be 1 7 okay 1 7 then q will be equals to 5 negative 5 okay so to get pq so pq will be equals to uh, q minus p okay and that will be equals to uh that is five negative five okay then minus one uh, again seven okay so this will be equals to four negative twelve okay so we have four negative twelve so from my figure two show that uh the modulus of the magnitude of um op vector op equals to the magnitude of a uh, vector OQ, okay, so that is uh, this one here, OP, okay, and OQ, okay, so they are, they have equal magnitude, okay, that is their values are equal, okay, so that is pretty easy, so for um, OP, okay, so for OP, we have the value of X to be equals to um, X. Sorry, let's take that again. So for the modulus of OP, so let's take it straight away. So the most, the magnitude rather, sorry, the magnitude, the magnitude of OP, okay, so will be equals to the square root of x okay that is one squared plus um seven squared okay so that will be one squared plus seven squared so that will be equals to one plus 49 and that will be equals to root 50 okay so the magnitude of oq Okay, will be equals to square root of 5 squared plus square root of negative 5 squared that will be equals to um, 25 add 25 is equals to 50 so uh, they have the same um, values okay so that means uh, the magnitude of vector op is equals to magnitude of vector oq okay so we figure 3 PQ is a chord of a circle with center O. Calculate the circumference of this circle. So if you come back here, so PQ is a chord, okay, with center O. So that means uh, the circle will pass through these two points like this, sorry. So this is just the rough sketch like this, okay. Something like this, so to, so to say, okay. So that is what we're going to get here so uh, what we need to do now we know that op will be the radius and oq will also be the radius please don't mind the circle okay just a rough sketch okay so um we have that and we already know the uh, magnitude of this op okay so which is equals to the magnitude of OQ. that is root 50 okay so we can easily calculate the circumference so the circumference denoted by c equals to 2 pi r it will be 2 times uh, 3.142 multiplied by root 50 as the radius is a uh, root uh, 50 so if you key in this into your calculator so you should get the uh, value to be equals to um 44.4 so that is what you should get here so, remember, figure 4, PQ is the diameter of the P 
PQ is the diameter of a different um, circle with center R. Find the coordinates of R. Okay. So if PQ is now the diameter now, so the implication is this. So that means PQ is the middle, that is from here to here is the middle. Okay. Then um, let's roll down. Okay. So PQ is the is the diameter so that means center will be here okay so it will be along this line so what we want to do there is to find the coordinate of with center r okay so center r is somewhere around here so let's say this is the center r here okay so we need to get the x and the y value so to get the coordinate of r so that means we want to get the midpoint okay of uh these two points right so uh we know their coordinates so x1 and y1 for point p will get uh x1 y1 okay so we can say that the x coordinates will be equals to x1 plus x2 over 2 okay and uh, the y coordinate will be equals to y1 plus y2 by 2. So equals to, so x1 and y1 uh, are the coordinates of P, and x2 and y2 are the coordinates of point Q. So if you can the values, you just have 1 plus 5 over 2. So that will be equals to 6 over 2. That will be equals to 3. So I have 3 here. Yeah? So this will be. 7 plus negative 5 over 2 so that will be equals to 2 over 2 which goes to 1 so we have 3 comma 1 okay so part 4 uh roman figure 4 rather find the um roman figure 5 find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of p q so uh the, the equation of the perpendicular bisector of p q okay will be Okay, let me illustrate here. You have the straight line here. This is point P and this is point Q. Okay, so the midpoint is R and the coordinates are 3 and 1. Okay, so the perpendicular bisector will be here. We we'll pass through this point. Okay, so that means the gradient of line PQ and this perpendicular bisector are perpendicular. Okay, so uh, let's find the gradient first. So if M1 um, denotes the gradient of PQ, so that will be equals to uh, the point here for point um, P. I think we still have 1 against 7, 1 against 7. Then for point Q, I think we have 5 against negative 5. Okay, yes. So the gradient will just be uh, let's subtract the s coordinates so you don't need to be writing formula always so you can do 5 minus 1 that is uh, uh okay sorry it's y2 uh y changing y over changing x rather so for this one so i'm starting from q so that will be minus 5 minus 7 okay minus 5 subtract 7 over then 5 subtract subtract 1 5 minus 1 okay that's changing y and changing x so this would be negative 12, negative 12 over 4. This would be negative uh, 3. Okay, so uh, this is the gradient of the line PQ. So M2 is the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. So since they are perpendicular, so M1 and M2 should be equals to, the product should be equals to negative 1. Okay, and we already have, so we want to find M2 to be equals to negative 1 over M1 which is equals to negative 1 over negative 3, which is equals to 1 over 3. So that means the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is 1 out of 3. Good. So uh, we need the equation of the line that passes through this point. Okay, so we're going to use this and this. So in this case, we can just say the gradient, the formula will be y minus, um, let's call this y minus y1. Okay, so... This is y minus 3, okay, equals to m into x minus x1. Uh, oh, sorry, what did I write here? This is wrong. This is for x. Okay, it will be y minus y1. So the y is 1, okay, 
and equals to m into x minus x1 that is uh, 3 okay so we need to um, simplify this we have y minus 1 equals to sorry the gradient is um, 1 over 3 so let's put 1 over 3 here okay then into x minus 3 so we have y minus 1 into let's expand the bracket that is 1 over 3 x okay so if you expand this one over three times negative three so that will be negative one so if we rearrange this so we have y equals to one over three x minus one plus one so this and this we go so y equals to one over three x okay so part b the position vector of a is a the position vector of b is b m is the midpoint of a B such that A M ratio M B equals to two to uh, three. Find in terms of A and B the position vector of M. Give your answer in the simplest uh, form. Okay. So since um vectors A and B are position vector, that means they are coming from the same point. Okay. So let's say they are coming from this point here. So this is for A and this is for uh, B, so to say. So that means I can write, let's say, um, okay, can you send letter? Let's use letter O. So this will be A and this will be B. So the position vector of A is A and the position vector of B is B. Okay, so now um, M is the midpoint of line AB. Okay, so that means we can join these and these together like this. Good. Okay, so M is the midpoint. So, sorry, M is a point rather on AB such that AM ratio MB is 2 to 3. So that means M will likely be somewhere around here. So, and this will be 2 to 3. Okay, so the total ratio here is 5. Okay, so we want to find the position vector, okay, of M. So the position vector of M will be from here to here, that is OM. Okay, so that will be the position vector. Okay, so to get OM, so it will be like this, OA plus AM. So position vector OM okay will be equals to o a okay plus a m okay so we know o a but we don't know a m so we need to find a m okay so a m is half of this half of uh, is uh is uh, ratio two uh two out of five of line a b okay so it's very important to find a b first so a b will be equals to uh, AO, like this, AO, okay, then plus um, OB, but we don't have AO, so that will be negative OA, so that will be minus A plus B, so which is the same as B minus A, so that is AB, so AM is 2 fifths of a B, so we can say that A M. Okay, you can put the array here. So A M will be equals to two out of five of what B minus A. Okay, so we can now substitute it here. So it will be equals to A plus two over five of B minus A. So if we expand, we have A plus two over five B minus 2 over 5a so uh, this and this 1a minus 2 over 5a that will give us 3 over 5a plus 2 over 5b okay so this will be the simplest uh, form so it will be 3 over 5a plus 2 over 5b that will be the solution there okay so uh this will be the end of my solution to question five so in the next video i will solve question six until then have your fingers crossed